Hello, my lovely Virgos. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So we are going to be doing your person on your mind reading. So whoever's on your mind, whoever you're thinking about, that is who this reading is intended for. Now, it is a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. And if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open and everything that you'll need to know will be in the description box below for you. Whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personals, Patreon, or the tarot course, everything is all there for you guys. So Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my lovely Virgos, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Virgo's energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you guys. You had offer, fly out, effort, and waiting. You had running at the bottom of the deck. All of these are only one word. Um, which is interesting because most of these have like phrases or a few words on them. So all of the cards that you have have one word. So this could be somebody who struggles um, with communication. This could be somebody who has a hard time expressing themselves or their feelings or being vulnerable. It could also just be signaling that maybe there has been no to or little to no communication between the two of you. So we're going to be using the tarot here to take a look. We're going to look at their thoughts, their feelings. We're going to look at their intentions or true intentions towards you, the challenge between the two of you, their next action, and a potential outcome. I feel like this person could have been running. You know, they could have taken off some of you guys. They could have ghosted or left. Maybe they were waiting to see if you were going to come back. Maybe they feel like, wonder if you are waiting for them. I do feel like there could be some kind of offer and effort made here. We're going to just take a look and see. Got the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Some of you guys have been out of communication with this person for a while. The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse can talk about something that, um, you know, just taking entirely way too long, like way, way, way too long. And maybe that's why they're wondering if you're still waiting or they feel like there's no way that they're still, you know, available. They're still waiting. Maybe they've already let go of this. They could have wondered if you're waiting, but it's been a long time for some of you guys. The Knight of Wands in the reverse for their heart space. So especially if this person, um, especially if this person was inconsistent before or like on and off or wasn't clear about what they desired, um, if they, you know, had player-like tendencies, any of that stuff, it does look like this is something that they are ready to move out of. You know, that's an energy that they're moving away from. I would also say that, you know, this is a person that maybe doesn't want to rush things. They do want to kind of move slower. They have the King of Pentacles in the reverse here for their true intention. The Page of Pentacles for the challenge. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse for their next step, their next action. And the Knight of Swords. Queen of Cups at the bottom. So I do feel like they are missing you here. I feel like they're kind of in their feelings, even though they may have a hard time expressing that. I'm not really sure how I feel about this King of Pentacles in the reverse. Let's see what that's about. Tell me about this King of Pentacles here in the reverse. Why is that their intentions? The Ace of Wands. And the Six of Cups. Seven of Swords in the reverse. So, the thing is, is I do feel like this person... does have some emotion for you I really do that Queen of Cups I feel like they're kind of in their feelings about things here and I do feel like for a lot of you guys this is somebody that you guys haven't been in communication for quite some time now for others of you with this King of Pentacles in the reverse if they this is this part is not going to resonate for all of you if this person was in a commitment if they were in some kind of long-term commitment I do feel like their intention was to remove themselves from that with that King of Pentacles in the reverse before they could like remove before they could start something here with you especially with the Six of Cups showing up and the Seven of Swords here in the reverse so if, if this person was in a relationship a marriage a commitment they their intention could be to 
you know, remove themselves from that if they're still involved or that maybe they wanted to remove themselves from that before they moved forward. Ace of Wands. And that maybe that's what they were waiting on for some of you guys as well. They could have been waiting to get themselves out of that commitment. Or maybe they were waiting for you to get out of one for some of you guys. We got the Emperor here. They flipped over. All right. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Why is that here for the thoughts? The Justice card in the reverse. They could have felt like it's taken way too long. So for some of you guys, I do feel like this is uh, where either you were married or they were married or somebody who's in a commitment, some kind of connection possibly here. It does look like it's it's taking a long time for somebody to actually make make good on that, those words, right? Um, You know, somebody could have been saying, oh, well, I am going to, you know, I am going to leave this person, whether that was you and they were the ones waiting, or whether that was them and you were the one waiting, right? But it just took way too long, and they recognize that, that they recognize that here. Tell me about this Knight of Wands in the reverse, the King of Swords in the reverse. Yep. I am, I'm really feeling that's how this is resonating. I'm just going to be honest, guys. I do feel like this is resonating for somebody who, you know, there is another party involved. And this really does feel to me here that the line and the keeping secrets and all of that got to be very difficult. Whether it got difficult on you and you were no longer interested or it got difficult for them or both of you. Now, the page of pentacles is here for the or for the challenge. The King of Pentacles. And the Two of Swords in the reverse. So somebody has made a decision here about what they want for the long term. Um, but like either expressing that or you not believing that could be a challenge. Or them not believing you. There's something here with the communication. It's like now that the decision is made, it's like there's a lot of doubts. The chariot in the verse that it's actually going to happen, that it's actually going to move forward. The chariot can also be a card of, of, you know, having faith. And, you know, I feel like somebody doesn't here anymore. Somebody no longer believes it. So somebody could be expressing, they could be expressing to you that they are doing this or you could be doing that. But there's a lot of doubts here. Tell me about this. The nine of pentacles in the reverse here. So somebody still feels very tied to something. So whether you're still tied to something or they are, that's the next step. And the temperance, more being patient, more waiting. But the eight of wands, you know, there is going to be a conversation here. But that's why it's so hard because it's still happening. You know, somebody is still waiting on this. And it's like there's there's the promises, there's these offers, but there's not the, the action to back it up yet. The knight of swords here. Let's see what this is about. This is the outcome. Five of cups in the reverse. Ace of cups. Wow. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like whatever you've been waiting for, it is going to come through. And there is going to be this information. For some of you guys, it's this person, you know. Whatever it is, it makes you very, very happy. In the Ace of Cups, there is this offer here. And it's what you've been waiting a long time for, right? So somebody could be finally having that conversation with their partner and expressing that. So whoever it is that's been waiting, you know, I do feel like things are finally getting there even though it hasn't really seemed like it. And somebody does have some doubts. Somebody isn't really believing it here, but I do see it, it starting to actually pick up and move forward. We're going from the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse to the Knight of Swords. It's like, okay, well, all of a sudden things start moving forward very quickly. Um, So I do see some kind of big shift here, but I also see the other person being very skeptical. It's been hard. I feel like it's been hard on both of you guys. But that is what I have for you, Virgo. Now, if this resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, then check out your other placements. Everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personals, or Patreon, all of that is in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason, you guys can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you for being here and supporting, and I will see you soon.